To assist fans with a hearing impairment, this wireless in-ear system prevents crowd and other background noises from interfering with the audio coming from the speaker system. If it's not already on, press the power button to turn on the rack mounted transmitter. Find a receiver and plug the supplied earphones into the jack on top of it. Rotate the volume dial counterclockwise to power the device. The hearing assist system is factory set up to work on channel 2C. If there is interference on this channel, you will want to change the channel on the rack mount transmitter to a clear channel. After you have found a clear channel, flip open the battery cover to expose the control buttons on the receiver and use the channel select buttons to select the same channel that was set on the transmitter. There are two LED meters stacked on top of each other which represent the two input channels. If these meters are lighting up the red section of LEDs, use the input knob located to the left of the meters to turn up or down the level of the signal. The signal level should be just below the red without reaching the red. The test tone button will activate a tone to aid in system setup. A red indicator next to the test tone button will illuminate when test tone is active. The LED meter next to the input meter is the mixed output meter. Apply the same settings as the input. The signal level should not reach red but should be close. Output level can be controlled with the knob located under the output meter. The contour control knob is an equalization adjustment. Turn counterclockwise for voice and clockwise for music. The LCD screen displays the channel that the device is transmitting on. Receivers should be set to the same channel on the transmitter. The channel select buttons are used to change the transmitter channel. These will be used if the sound quality at the receiver is unacceptable. The monitor knob and connector are for headphones to monitor the output of the device. Turn the monitor knob fully counterclockwise before connecting headphones to protect users and equipment. Check the battery status on the front panel of each receiver prior to use and always have spares on hand for replacement.